Tonight, fears of another migrant surge. Panama's foreign minister claiming in a meeting that as many as 60,000 mostly Haitian migrants are making their way north to the U.S.-Mexico border, continuing her calls for the U.S. to help enforce a plan. Good evening. It's so great to have you with us tonight. I'm Rudy Mireles. Title 42, a policy that blocks migrants from coming into the U.S. for health reasons, will continue. A judge making that ruling late last week. As courts go back and forth on what is and isn't allowed, humanitarian organizations on our border fear the legal battles are creating confusion and even a possible increase in migrants. Here's Channel 5's Santiago Caicedo. The constant burden on migrants has been Title 42, a public health directive put in place during the Trump administration, which allows CBP to stop people from entering the country legally if they pose a potential health risk. Title 42 was expected to end on Thursday, but an appeals court in D.C. ordered it stay in effect. Which means that this weekend we were going to see great numbers of, of number of families increasing because of that. Sister Norma Pimentel, the director of Catholic Charities in the Valley, says some migrants headed to the U.S.-Mexico border could be under the impression that Title 42 has been canceled due to a previous federal judge's order. Meanwhile, at the once very busy migrant shelter at Ansaldúas Park, things are not as busy as they once were. In the time that we've been out here at Ansaldúas Park, we've seen some buses come drop migrants over here at the Catholic Charities Outdoor COVID Processing Center. But speaking with local officials, they tell us that the number of migrants being dropped off doesn't compare to the numbers we saw several months ago. According to Catholic Charities, the number of migrants at the park has dropped from an average of around 1,000 every day to around 300. And around 7% are testing positive for COVID and between 100 to 200 migrants were in quarantine at the park as of Friday. In Mission, Santiago Caicedo, Channel 5 News.